Hi, my name is Jerrica Fox. I am with the Art Club, and this is the clay demo. If you're watching this video, you probably picked up an art kit. Um, and in this year's art kit, we've decided to hand out for finals week. We have included a few fun and tactile things. So the first and main ingredient in this art kit is a pound of air dry clay. We also have included a popsicle stick, a plastic serrated knife, as well as a little paint kit so you can paint your pot, cup, or whatever sculpture you make, as well as a sponge. And I also recommend you have a glass of water. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a pinch pot as well as a coil pot, which are two hand building techniques used in ceramics. Before we get started um, sculpting and pinching any clay, you're going to take your glass of water and I recommend putting in about, you don't need very much, about that much clay, and just go ahead and put it in there. I also have warm water just to help it dissolve a little bit better. I'm just gonna kinda let it sit, dissolve, and make something we call slip. And slip is basically just heavily watered down clay and it is used to bond two pieces of clay together um, so that they have a really nice bond on them and they do not break. All right, so while our slip is dissolving, um, I'm just gonna knead this clay just to make sure that there are no um, odd textures throughout so the consistency is gonna be the same throughout the entire ball of clay. And then we are first going to make what is called a pinch pot. And as always, uh, clay is water soluble. So if your clay is a little bit too hard, you can add a little bit of water and the consistency might be a little bit easier to mold, though it might not hold its shape if you get it to a point where the clay is too wet. So I'm just gonna first make a nice, pretty uniform ball and you don't have to use the entire ball of clay for this. You can just use half, so half a pound. Okay, so now that I have this really nice ball shape, as round as I could get it, um, I am just gonna take a thumb and press right about where I think the center is and make just a little hole. And I'm not gonna go all the way through the ball of clay, but I'm gonna go as deep as I think I can without ripping a hole through the bottom. Then it's gonna kinda look like a donut. And then from here, um, I am just going to take my fingers like this in a little pinching motion, and I am going to go around the perimeter of the clay, just slowly pinching, not too hard to pull because your clay might rip. Um, just kind of pinching so that the clay forms its own cup slash bowl shape, kind of like that. And the hole's getting bigger, and I want the, all of the walls to be a nice thickness and the same thickness all throughout the little pot. And now that I've got the clay to about like this, where it kind of has a bowl shape, I'm going to start um, evening out the sides and just making sure that there are no cracks forming, like, like you see here. I just want to smooth that out with my finger, get a little bit of slip on my finger, just smooth it out. Um, and basically just pulling the walls as high as I can. Pinch pots have a very nice handmade quality to them because they're not gonna be perfectly smooth. They kind of have the hand of the maker in them. Now that I have this really nice shape that I'm happy with, um, the only thing I'm not happy with is like the ridges and I, there is some smoothness that I wanna bring back to this. I'm just gonna take my sponge, put it in the slip a little bit, wring it out. Just You don't need it soaking, just a little bit damp. And then I am going to take away some of this texture and you can already see how it's smoothing out right there. Um, just be very careful. You might wanna let your um, air dry clay dry just a little bit before this step, just so that it can hold and have some integrity while you're pushing against it. One uh, little tip I like to do is if it's a little too like in too much, like it's a little too much give, I like to support it from the inside and then gently wipe from the outside just so I'm not losing the nice shape of my pot that I've made. All right, so this is the pinch pot I've made. This is something that I would like to like 
do really nice painting designs on because it's more simple. It's not very um, sculptural or anything. It's, it does its job. Um, but I only have one ball of clay, so I'm going to destroy this, um, reform it, and then we'll make the coil pot. Alright, so when making a coil pot, the first thing I'm going to do is take about maybe a third of this um, pound of clay, so a third of, third of a pound, and I am just going to take this and make kind of like a cookie shape. Nice flat. So now I have this really nice flat cookie slash pancake shape. It is about uh, maybe half an inch to a quarter of an inch thick. And it's not the nicest shape, it's not very circular, so I'm just gonna try to make this more circular by cutting it out. Or you can use a cookie cutter, whatever you got. This just makes it easier for me to build around it and helps me build a more smooth and cohesive looking cup. So now that I've got this really nice uh, circle-ish, <laughs> um, I am going to do something in the hand building ceramics that is called scoring and slipping and scoring and slipping is essentially something to make things stick better and this will make our coil stick to our base and our floor so what i'm basically doing is making a cross hatch pattern if you can see that a cross hatch pattern and the around the edge of our base just so that when I slip, when I coil this and then score it, it's just giving it more grip to hold on to each other. So now that I have this completely scored around the edges, I am going to set that aside and then start coiling my pot. I'm going to take about this much clay, not a lot, and just start rolling it. If you have an extruder, which I doubt you do, it's a lot easier, um, but this method also works very well, especially if you're not going to keep the coils. So they don't have to be perfect, they just have to be round-ish to your best ability and knowledge. I'm gonna make sure my coils aren't too thick because the thicker they are, the thicker the walls on my pot are gonna be. All right, so now that I have this, I'm just gonna take my serrated knife and then gently but firmly go along the top of my coil so that it all has some nice texture and will now gain the ability to grip the base of my pottery. Then I am going to take my sponge with my slip mixture, just a little bit, not a lot, and then go around the very edges just adding some of this mixture, dabbing a little bit to my base. And you don't need a ton, and if you put too much, you can soak a little bit more up. And then I'm gonna start coiling my coil around. About like this. I'm gonna move it back just a touch so you can see and then when it starts to overlap, you need to start scoring the top of your coil as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that very quickly and then also slip it so that it has that glue. And make sure that the coil is staying within the bounds that I want it to be. Then I'm going to slip it a little bit, not a lot, just a touch. And you can also do this with your finger if your sponge is giving you a little bit too much slip. And then I'm going to start lining up the two parts that were gripping each other. And then just wrapping around and around. More score slip, and you want to continue this process all the way until you reach your desired height of your pottery. Alright, so now I have my clay pot to about this height. I still have a lot left over. Um, I am going to just make sure everything is kind of condensed and pressed together so that it will hold. And then I'm going to start gently um, pressing my coils together. I'm gonna get a little bit of that um, water on my fingers just so I don't tear the clay. Um, and then just start mashing all of the coils together 
with my thumbs. And this will not look very smooth at first, just because I'm not using something like a rubber rib, which is usually used in ceramics. Um, but that can be substituted for like a gift card, a driver's license, whatever you'd like to use, or you could just sit, leave it with your thumbs or even try it with a popsicle stick that was provided in the kit. So I have let my pot sit for about 45 minutes because I got it a little too wet. And now I'm just gonna smooth it out much like the pinch pot as much as I can and as much as I like, though I do like it looking a little bit more handmade. It makes it feel a little bit more special. Now I have my little bowl thing. It's <laughs> it's a little, it is a little too handmade looking. Um, I did get the clay, it's still a little too wet, um, but you get the idea and you get the gist. I'm probably gonna reform this and make another pinch pot because that seemed to be the method that works best with this. Um, and then you let it air dry for as long as it takes, and then you can paint it with your fun little painter's kit that's included. And that's it. So thank you so much for coming to the clay demo. Enjoy, and good luck on your finals.